Hello, welcome to St Luke's Church Ecclesill for our service of morning prayer for Friday the 15th of October 2021. I hope as well as a cup of tea uh, that more importantly you'll have a Bible with you so that you're able to read the Bible readings in today's service because the whole point of the service is that God speaks to us when we try to apply his word to our hearts. Uh, and for that reason, you will also need, probably, the video remote so that you can put me on pause and listen to God speaking to you. Let's ask him into our hearts and onto our lips. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The hymn which Stephen has chosen from the Sing Praise hymn book for us to sing today uh, is by Brian Hoare, Lord, you are the light of life to me. I must confess to you that this is one of the most enjoyable hymns that I think we've had uh, at the beginning of the service for a long time. Lord, you are the light of life to me. When darkness hides my path, you help me see. Now and all my days, your light may lead me on, guiding my ways. Lord, you are the rock on which I stand, stable and strong in you, held by your hand. Keep me safe, O oh Lord, in weakness let there be. sets me free only in you is found true liberty teach me then O oh Lord in all things to pursue your good and perfect will growing like you Lord you are the Lamb of God who died suffering for Scorned, crucified Love me still, O oh Lord Let others daily see Your selfless serving love Flowing through me Lord, you are the King Who ever reigns As rulers rise and fall Your throne remains The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm set for us to read this morning is Psalm 139, Lord you have searched me out and known me, a favourite psalm of many Christians and I suppose I'm one of them. Uh, here's a metrical version, a hymn version of that psalm. Lord you have searched my inmost heart known me through all my days, even before the seed of a thought, word it gave rise to action it brought, you, Lord, knew all my ways, knowing what moves my soul to song, also what brings my tears, you know and lead me to wrong where I am weak and when I am strong all of my hopes and fears you hem me in 
find me for Put me in your embrace Too wonderful is knowledge so sure So understanding yet still so pure More than my mind can face Where could I hide away from you Of night time gloom, my ways are in your sight. You formed my flesh and bones in the womb. You watched my paths from cradle to tomb, turning my dark to light. Lord, when my life seems torn apart, help me to trust you. And you might like to pause the video and reflect on that psalm, looking it up in your own Bible. Today in the Old Testament, our reading is 2 Chronicles chapter 30. It's the celebration uh, that Hezekiah organised uh, of the Passover after the Temple of the Lord had been rededicated and rebuilt. Uh, and uh, at the end uh, it says uh, how much great joy there was among everyone who took part. Please pause the video and read that in your own Bible. I suppose the key is the little bit at the right at the end of the chapter, isn't it, where it says, And God heard them because their prayer reached heaven, his holy dwelling place. Uh, the temple on earth was a symbol of the fact that God in heaven wants to dwell uh, with his people. And of course nowadays that's replaced by Jesus and by his presence in our hearts by his spirit. You might want to use the Canticle of Repentance from Hosea uh, and if you do want to do that please do it now. Uh, but let's celebrate God's presence with us in another way as we read the New Testament reading, which is St. John chapter 14, verses 1 to 14. Well, the beginning part of that Bible reading is, of course, very often used at funerals because it is Jesus's promise uh, of our unity with him in his father's house. Uh, when we reach the end of our journey. Uh, it was set for my father's funeral, uh, and shortly afterwards I was asked to uh, do a kind of rerun of the funeral uh, for the children in the local primary school uh, where he was the chairman of governors. Uh, and um, in a predominantly Muslim school, I wanted to find a way of presenting the challenges uh, of Jesus to his disciples to believe. And so I wrote this song for that occasion. Where are you going, Jesus? We don't understand what you say. Where are you going, Jesus? We don't know where, so how can we know? Where are you going, Jesus? We 
I don't understand what you say. Where are you going, Jesus? We don't know where, so how can we know the way? I'm going to go make a place for you. I'll come back and take you there. Then you'll see how it all comes true. You will know the Father's care. Where are you going, Jesus? We don't understand what you say. Where are you going, Jesus? We don't know where, so how can we know the way? I am the way to the Father's side. People come to him through me. If you wish, I can be your guide, give you peace and set you free. That's where you're going, Jesus. We'll try to hear what you say. That's where you're going, Jesus. You've told us where we'll trust you to show the way. It is our prayer that people would be able to hear the invitation of our Lord Jesus and respond to it in their own hearts by faith and trust, and thus to find the peace which he promises at the end of the chapter. Let's pray. Let's ask that that will be the case. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the different ways that you are a, a fulfilment of our own hopes and aspirations, as expressed by Brian in his hymn, uh, which obviously moved him, for he wrote the music as well. We pray that you would help us to express that in our own lives, by giving ourselves up to you in service, uh, and by our enthusiasm and liveliness as we talk about the Gospel with others. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you for the joy of things done right, and for the way that Hezekiah and his people were able to celebrate your presence in their midst. And we pray that you would help us to focus on your presence in our midst as well, in order that we might have something real to share with others, as well as for the encouragement it gives to ourselves. And we pray for people who are puzzled by the words of Jesus and do not understand, that you would give us the gift of being able to help them, uh, and you would give them the gift of being able to see how your promises can come true in their lives and so lead them to faith and trust in you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please put before God the particular things on your own heart at the moment. The Collect, the special prayer for this week, the 19th after Trinity. O oh God, for as much as without you we are not able to please you, Mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's use the prayer which Jesus taught his first disciples, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so let us avail ourselves of Jesus' promise today, that we may ask whatever we will in his name, and see him glorified by the Father.